Yeah. All right, so we are watching a tiebreaker match. Now, that's not how vintage tournaments work. Uh, but apparently they could not figure out the tiebreakers between fourth place and fifth place. So instead of figuring them out, they're going to play a match. <laughs> and everyone is drunk and angry, but that's okay. That's what's happening. In the, like, this is, this is the MTG Underground. There are no rules and no matches. We just do whatever we want. That's true. If everyone agrees... they want a top four, they want to play a playoff... That's what we're gonna have, which is which gives us an extra match to watch today. Um, I have I have attempted them to tell them that maybe they should just look at the real tiebreakers, but they're just like no way that's happening. You're just like you know what? Fine. That's yeah. I'm gonna do. I'm I am two thousand miles away. Do what you're gonna do. Yeah, fair enough. I got. All right, so we did see this match earlier today. Uh, Jason, Jacob won that. Ah, oh, it's a little confusing. Just to no. make it no. more confusing. I'm hoping no. that Frank just has like both turned those... to barrel age in both games and this match mm -hmm. is like seven minutes long. Yeah, yeah. And Jacob just has <laughs> to like slink out of the room with and, uh, disgrace. And yeah, I, now I, I don't know who the favorite actually is in this matchup, but I do think Jason got uh, a yeah. so fairly lucky like, hands the first Jaco, match. But Frank has not even attempted to make barrel age at any point. Mm -hmm. So, I yeah. can't tell if that's indicative of the matchup. And, and, and Jacob had, I think, turn one or two oath both of the games before. Jacob had turn one oath and, like, turn two or three oath or something. Like, he had early oath, but, like, the oath didn't really seem all that good. Like, his creatures are fucking terrible, basically. <laughs> well, it's slow. It's just not it, good in this match. It's still, go it's still a clock. It's still a clock, but it's definitely slower than other attacks. But they're just not very good creatures. Like, if he just played Termoglyphs, that would have done about the same. <laughs> All right, so one of those has got the, the rock, paper, scissors, uh, unglued card. I don't know. There's a tiger and a lobster, which means that I think what? Paper, tiger, rock, lobster. So Jacob goes first. Jacob goes first. I will say I have done those a bunch of times with people. I have yet to win a single time. I'm like 0 for 10 or something on the rock, paper, scissors card. Just scoop. Just scoop right now. Not my favorite. What is your favorite way to determine who goes first? Uh, my favorite right way I've ever done, actually, is uh, when I played against the first time I ever played against Ryan Walker. <laughs> Uh, and he, we, we had like seven, he had like seven dice or something, he's like, and he, we, we had like seven D6s, and the thing was, uh, the most number of prime numbers on dice. <laughs> Which is, like, oh, shit, got me. Oh, shit, got me. Oh, shit, got me. Oh, let's shit. just do it. That sounds great. And that was pretty awesome. Yeah, it's particularly funny because he is a math teacher. It's very appropriate. Yeah. Right. Like, he, uh, like he mentioned, like I knew who he was. I never met him before. Mm -hmm. But I knew who he was. Like, 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 I, th I no, think I'm gonna like. Right. Let me let me try and get my brain around this concept. I was like, oh yeah, that makes sense. I guess that seems <laughs> fun. Uh, uh, but I think we rerolled like three times because <laughs> it's really hard. About to the same number each time. Yeah. 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 Uh, I, uh, the most effective I've had is one person rolls and you call it even or odd on the roll. That's it. But that's boring. Uh, that's not why I'm giving these to be drunk because those are the guts that have been hurt. This is for. So, do you want to roll? Uh, <laughs> two turns. Jake really appears to have a shirt on, it. so that's. Do you want to high roll? They worked it out. We're not going to get the ones for the last few years. problems here. Oh, uh, that's true. Yeah, Justin. Sure? You're buying a little bit of loose. Jake's having a really hard time. What? <laughs> we can we can see him crawling in the background. He's on the floor. You can hear him cracking. Wow, which is pretty awesome. Because Bill is not loving K. Everything is falling apart and it's great. Oh boy, he's got another doll though. He's still got a more single already. Not enough. This dude stopped at the bank before this event. Oh my god! All right. Let me get twenty singles. Like oh, there's two like I got a magic trick. Uh, I need some life pads. All right. While they, while Jago tries to regain consciousness, I guess I'll throw a deck list on the screen. Oh, he missed the chair. I think we might be looking at a. Uh, I don't want to call it a DQ, but a. Uh, Somebody. That was, that was someone else who tried to. Hey, no, why don't you crawl? Jacob was, uh, 
is no. still ready to play. Oh, this okay. This is how the top <laughs> four offers. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, just yeah, fine. Yeah. Come over Somebody here. else. No, 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 DQ so is the word I was looking so for, but an so opt not to play no, because you're physically unable to play anymore. Yeah, whatever you call that. I just don't want to put on the table. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's a good idea. This is an expected match. Is that the... Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, Frank making the valid point that it's not good to have drinks on the table when people are running around the room and knocking into the table. It's a dangerous thing for vintage decks. I'm pretty sure both third X are double sleeve because they're both like yeah, pretty. Uh, yeah, they're fair enough. Pretty specific. Yeah, like yeah. Frank, especially, is like really very protective of his cards. And Jaco, Jaco's cards are all. So I actually borrowed a couple of cards, of cards from Jaco for old school. Uh, he's like, yeah, I normally don't care about double sleeve. The only card he's like, he's like, the only card I care about is the library, uh, which he saw earlier. He lent me that library for old school. So he's like, yeah, just like I'd rather you double sleeve just because of this library. So I expect Jayco is double sleeved as well. Yeah, so again, we, we still don't have uh, a visual Frank's deck list, but to have uh, Jayco's deck list on the screen again. Which is, for the most part, a regular looking Oath deck, but for any of those Archons and uh, yeah, Archon it's sort of regular, of... but also sort of not, because it's very Jayco. Like, mm -hmm. he's playing six Planeswalkers, including a Nahiri the Harbinger. My favorite part is oh, yeah. his, his not Nahiri, right? Like, just like, saw, gets an archon? Right Frank is like, oh man, you got, uh, like, Frank saw the Nahiri. He's like, oh man, you got Emrakul. The reality is Jaco's going to be like, no, I'll ultimate Nahiri. I will get Inferno Titan. I will attack for nine, and then I will put it back in my hand. <laughs> You're up. It's like, boy, that's not the scariest Nahiri I've ever seen. Yeah, Nahiri's a little weird in this deck. I mean, he's got two mana confluences to go with the four orchards. He's got one C, one Tundra, two Volk, two Trap. Like, this is a gross mana base. Like, really <laughs> gross. Uh, he's got one Sensei's Divining Top because it's just a card he loves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is just, this is a very Jayco list. Like, it's just his kind of thing in that it plays a bunch of, like, pretty questionable, mediocre slash... Buy, like bad cards, but it's Jake who he does what he wants. I mean, these cards are all they're all fine to good cards, right? It's I mean, just they're all cards that they, are theoretically vintage playable, most of them anyway. The rate the ratios are, are the unique thing. Yeah. Uh, and the right. ones that he has well, specifically well, chosen well, to be like, these are what I will Oh, love. wait, so if he draws yeah. all the time, he's to the two managers. Wait, no, does that even make sense? Let's go. Let's go, you know, you do what you're gonna do. Yeah, 13 years old. Good luck. Versus Franks and Joe. Woo! Uh, can you hit me with the more build? Yeah, I got you. Uh, all right. Yeah. You made top four, right? Yeah. Uh, all right. So we are in the playoffs to figure out who makes the top four. Uh, then we're gonna see top four. Then we're gonna see finals. And we saw this match earlier. Uh, Jason Jaco won two zero, but I do think there's some play to this matchup. Uh, Jake got some pretty strong opening hands before, and I know Frank has some potential strong openings. Uh, he could get. Well, no, I guess with the number of people we had, that makes sense. I don't think you're playing again, though. Oh, all right, sorry, David. Let me okay. just relax. Alright. Are you ready for a drink? I, I'm got, I got you. Don't worry about it. Yeah, we got Jaco's signature around. Darvel yeah. life pad. Uh, Alright, we're gonna right. land Dude, Mox you any water opening. Um, I need a Gatorade and a water <laughs> and a shot for both of us. Okay. And then does anyone else need <laughs> any? Uh, Jaco taking some drink orders. Now there's no turn one over here, uh, but turn one demonic is pretty good yeah, as well. You're okay? All right. Yeah. Wait, this is top four? No, it's a play for top four. Water, Gatorade, like yeah. that. We tied. They tied, and now we have to play for top four. All right. So uh, I didn't get a look at uh, Jayco's hand, so I'm not sure what he might be getting here, but... Yeah, I mean, I mean, if he's got an orchard in his hand, it's definitely an oath. Um, oh yeah, orchard. Oh yeah. That's the other. 
Yeah. It's sort of the most like, common. Yeah, these two, you'll be playing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't actually get a good look at what he got either. But I need to play you. Ancestral's the default. Uh, I'll draw this. And, and Frank and... Yeah. If you have one of the combo pieces, you get the other, that'd be... Yeah, that's on Yeah, that's of 11 Yeah, I think I just saw an Orchard in his hand. I think it might have been what he tutored for. So... Probably has the oath already. Uh, so let's see, that's a pretty cool miscut orchard. So I think, uh, I think those are some of the Ellie Cassis miscuts that he's got there. Uh, so if you're not familiar, Ellie Cassis uh, got a bunch of like sheets of various older sets and uh, basically cut them, but like miscut them on purpose for these like absurd miscuts he's got. I think his value is the same way. Okay, you can have it. Uh, I like, sold the miscuts that way. And I want to say it's Ellie. I might be wrong. It might be nah. someone else. But I think it was Ellie who did that, which is Commentary? pretty cool, frankly. Yeah. Like a lot of really, like, really cool miscuts. Yeah. But there's there's some disagreements up on the old school and vintage <laughs> other. Like, well, yeah. I mean, the messy of those. Yeah, I know that Axe single-handedly disrupted the market for uh, miscut cards. Yeah, there's a lot of people who are not super psyched sure, about Axe. Nice. They're like, oh, I have this miscut card from 20 years ago, and this dude is just making them. No, so some people are not psyched about that, but frankly, I'm not a person who cares about that, so whatever. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, as far as I know, the miscut of Jacob has a lot like, original, like, Mm-hmm. His, like his crypt box and his crypt box are all obviously original because uh, I don't know if any of these made any sense. I don't know if you got this. I don't really know how you do yeah. these. That's in, but like, I mean, what else you got? Is that it? I mean, I don't know if NFC can't take it. Fire. No, I think we've got a real crop rotation. It's good, but. Two. Jaco maybe on the the anti-new world, which honestly would not be surprising if you know Jaco. Yeah, I'm sure it has a lot to do with what cards you own already. <laughs> what your opinion is, yeah. Oh, for sure. So Frank had no turn one play. His turn to play is no rod, but like... We drank all the more, there's one left, so here's a Yeager bottle. What? There's no more Gold War? And here's the tea Gatorade build. What? Yeah, I get the impression that Frank is overvaluing the effects of no rods in this matchup. I think so too. I, I feel like he's seen Jaco's whole deck basically. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the camera yeah, knocked out. Uh, it's coming back. Oh, yeah. Must, yeah, we're good. Must be yeah, that's yeah, that's yeah. I'm drinking this. Yeah, mine, well, mine cut out, so got, but it's back. Know, I know what's happening. This is this drink is on the set. Looks like it should be on the set. It's back now. Darlene said Nathan and they ran out of more. They must have only bought one bottle. Yeah, I think it's like the Indian hell. Uh, everyone's getting drunker and drunker. That's on the set. Hold on. No, that's literally on the set. Nullrod. All right. So we got Nullrod on the stack, which honestly, Jacob doesn't really care about Nullrod at this point. Okay, Jacob's not playing Time Ball. He's not playing any Time Ball. Uh, what is that called? Yeah. The looker in your... Now, I don't know what else Frank has. I think that's a... I think that's um, that's being staged in play. So you know, maybe he naturally has the. Uh, if if Frank just has a natural stage depth, then that is actually could race the other. That's that's the that's the draws he's looking for. This matchup is like even if it's turn four stage depth, that's fine. Jaco can't race that. Yeah, so that would I mean that would definitely explain keeping a hand that has no turn one play and a not great turn two play. Unless he's unless he thinks that Nora on turn two is like the two is all. Honestly, we don't think it's good. Frank, no, that's literally it's in play. Brady in the chat earlier, Reba twenty, who's Jake, which B R I B A. Sure, uh, he is right a Oklahoma fine. area player. He's friends sure. with. Uh, he's a member of Team Series and friends with another Team Series member, John Hammond. Uh, and he's a big lands player. Uh, it is now. Uh, you can find him streaming lands sometimes, land sometimes, and he said that he's a big Nora. He's not a fan of Stony Silence post board. Uh, but it's possible Frank thinks they're better than that. Frank has a different feel in the matchup. Yeah, but right I, I mean, we don't know what's in Frank. What what is in Frank's hand, right? Like it, it might just be the only play yet. On turn two, might just have a natural. He's just like, well, I'll play something on turn two. Nothing. Yeah. Um, which someone is this guy from the back? I can't. Uh, no one looks like yeah, it's in there because Jaco's in captor. Jaco's, I assume, thinking about other things. 
Anything else? He's showing the cards that you can't see. Yeah, it's tough to see. And he's really bad at putting them at the camera, but that's all right. It's not an easy thing to do. <laughs> it's true. Without showing your opponent as well, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was instinctive. Don't worry about it. I'll take it. Sonic Boys, 2001. Arizona Iced Out Boys. Young Lean. Young Lean. Yeah. I'm Iced Out. I clearly have three creatures in my hand, so. You're a man of color. Yeah, Karak. You can come back. You're What is this guy? Spirit in one hand. Okay, yeah, I'm at 18. He has no. Yes, but. We don't have decklists, right? Right? It's very easy. We got the yeah. Yeah. Right Frank is seen Most of the deck. Yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah. I hope. I, I swear to God. I hope. But if if Frank has the depths in hand still, then there's no advantage to playing Caracas versus depths now. Yeah, you just have to play any land. The treasure, oh, yeah. Jigo, the treasure is in the glaciers of ice. He didn't play a sergeant, so he doesn't like ice in the so I guess we'll see. <laughs> that's some goonies? So. No, that's Wu-Tang <laughs> money all up in the family. <laughs> I said enough. This guy's oh, my yeah. seeds go he's and like, marry his seeds. Like, that's how we just, keep Wu-Tang like, money up in the family. He's like, I literally busted it on my pants. That's why I said keep the laundry going, dude. Keep yeah. the laundry going. <laughs> Oh, oh my Jacob's god! What did you see? Yes, Ted Hold on a second. Hold on. Did you see his Ted Turner? I swear to God. Oh man, can you name lands with it? Right. I, I can't even name like lands or enchants or anything relevant. Can I you guess. name lands or enchants? Fire Valor? No, you cannot. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> that would be cool though, am I right? Oh my god. Fire Six! Fire Six! Fire Six! Fire Six! So over. Okay, hold on. Those are ones a bit long worth thinking. I think we're gonna name. Is everything alright, Nat? Yeah, but. Yeah, that's what happens when you have both the Jews in Shut the fuck up, you saw it. It's so aggro, bro. Everyone's a little Dude, we're gonna let the Jiggle be the first two times. Come on, Frank, come on! Frank! Nathan! Only if I can complete this. Alright, so Jacob's trying to figure out what to name. There's no passing out. Like, you can decide me a game last night, I'll still. Phaedra aspects of stuff. Frank! Yeah, it's not really. Um, um, yeah, Alright, I'm gonna name. I know what the name is here. Source like, I'm sorry. I, 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 I think there's probably Jacob one over there. Whatever, from the last time we played. Whatever. I know. Yeah, I'm gonna drop it. That's just Dwayne. I just think he's got a cave in a total. Yeah, the scariest thing Frank could have is just the depths, which. Yeah, no, if Jacob does not have counters, then I then instant seems fine to stop a crop rotation. But yeah, so in that case, then it's not. I don't know. Why am I eating? I think it's really scary for Jacob because he has counters in his back or something. Yeah, it really depends on his hand. Yeah. Yeah, I don't see what it was named there, but Enchantment's probably the safe one. Or Artifact. Just the name is uh, to not worry about it. Pisces, that's how we keep money. Really? Frank, you can't let Jacob win. If you heard of him earlier, you would say that he has no idea what to do. Don't let him get the last line of defense before getting me fake by the... Yeah, I'm trying. Consensus. But I can't do anything until it's my turn. Oh my God. Hold on. I got you made no sorcery. Right? Yeah. I'll go to my draw stuff I drew for the Hold turn. What do you got for Frank? Um, that's a rel. Go on. I think I'm just passing. <laughs> oh! oh. Sure, we have <laughs> people, people are really excited watching this match. You can hear them on camera. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah dark dot dot net. We've never room. been. <laughs> That's where all the shit goes down. If anything hype Why? happens, we're going to break down that. the technology that oh, we'll see the little Gibson. Gibson. Yeah, what, that gets you. you know, people uh, just excited. Pat the Gibson on the reg on the daily McPeace. I, can, I can't play with it, right? I'm excited about vintage. <laughs>
Yeah. Yeah. So, Dude, he, 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 he let this guy be. That could be his beard. Do you see this old guy? You see this nugget? I just, I just paid you the experience. Come on, hit me, baby. I'm at 17. Is that right? Which again is not a dark town. What is your point? Shouldn't I beat the beard? That built a fun one. But his ass. Because, like, none of his cards are six. You're still getting fit. You guys know, Rod. Right? So awesome. I'm gonna clog you. Yeah, so he's gonna what does that mean? X out of your graveyard. Full story. Can I hear it again? X out of your graveyard. Okay. X out of your graveyard. Did I stutter? Um, upkeep. I will. Oh, he must have copied the underground. Did I stutter? On your end. So Frank has two missteps in his in his deck. On your end step. I mean, character, you're gonna do it, but that was fun. I'll misstep that. Two is an interesting number. Oh shit! Did I build that? Did I build that? Did I build that? Um, this is on his end step. I think it's a lot of just like I have. Um, no one's taking any damage. No, there's no tokens. There's no token. Oh, sorry. You get a guard. No, that's on his side. You get one. You get one too. Why did I get one? I've been orchard. I paid for it. Fuck. Yeah. I will hard cast. Hey. Yeah, and honestly, like, while <laughs> Frank, Frank, Frank has played this deck so much that I'm more inclined to believe that he has some idea of, all right, I actually do. You watch that video. Which I think. Okay, so this one is right. Like, Exile, that's like, not exile. He did like an insane yeah. ass video. Why is that on, exile? Uh, I exiled your graveyard earlier. Okay, so then this resolves. I lose two life. I go to. You know, I think it's. Hold on, maybe it's 16 from the last. Yeah, you had another spear beat. So it's so on 14. You get a 14. Correct. Uh, that's unfortunate. His time lock is exactly what he would want right now. I'm going to be awesome. Alright. Dude, he's not winning. He's not winning. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take this over there, baby. We've definitely hit the point in the tournament where uh, if this were round one, I'd be saying, oh, well, you have to you know, have a really good reason for playing uh, Archon and Sorcery, but I'm willing to bet that uh, six rounds in and however many drinks, we probably just. Yeah. One. Yeah. yeah. One? Which oh, is fine. <laughs> no, no, the play in for the top four. Yeah, it took a long time to get this game started. Absolutely. No. Hold on. Hold on. Happy to your sleep. If you still have some items, you can call it Frank. Frank is an ulti. Do you want to DQ me? Frank is an ulti. I'm DQ me. Yeah, I'll 1000% replace it. Everything is like, you have three creatures, you're like, eventually you do one. Nathan, can't be with the replacement sleep without Darker Dark. I do not have a perfect game. Um, Sorcery. 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 Like, oh no, that was NCF. That was NCF. Yeah, yeah. um, this is a dude's hook. Yeah. What's going on? Frank, you can't this Frank. Frank, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. Frank, you're an L2. Yeah. He's Frank, fine. Come but on, come on, on the other hand, it's, 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 the game can't go on that, I mean, that much play, longer. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once no, it's fine. Right? Right? Just keep playing, just keep playing. No, we want to DQ him. That's fine. No? If that's the only way you can beat him. If that's the only way you can beat him. No, no, no. It doesn't matter. I can't fuck up, Jacob. Play the game, play the game. No, you, you guys. All right, this guy's so something neat going on here that we didn't see in the first game, uh, which I, I don't know if it's going to matter, but I, it's really cool to see. Frank has copied uh, Jaco's Forbidden Orchard with his Thespian stage. Yes. To kind of shut off Oath, right? Exactly. Like the Oath mirror right here. Yeah, which is a really cool thing you can do with stage. Uh, we get some more internet issues, but that's okay. <laughs> no, I want to be on. <laughs> yeah, but we'll, I'm sure we'll get back. Looks like it's. <laughs> I will attack you for five minutes. <laughs> Just, yeah, right on top of it. Uh, horrifying. Uh, I mean, I mean, my favorite is. Uh, you see, like, what is your name? Cool. Cool. Sorry. Um, yep. <laughs> That's the best. That hurts. Semi Rome. Also Rome. Um, relevant, relevant. Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Did you make top four? You did, right? 
two rolls. No cards in my hand. No? I'll just tell you that I don't know. So I tied you for five. We have 14, 2, 14. That's 14. It's not anybody's fault. I mean, honestly, it is someone's fault. This guy's dead because of... No, I don't blame you. Wyoming? Mm-hmm. I mean, I could have drew it. No draws. Right. Uh, we met up with them in a parking lot. Uh, like, we had a marriage. Did you play for something? I did. Uh, I'll take two, baby. Like, as I did. I'll take 12 rounds. Sometimes you bet down for Doc Bill. You let me join and break this shit. Come on, pussy. You're not my real friend. 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 What do you got over there? Oh, ho, ho, ho. What is this? What is this? I was like, hey, I got a bunch of swag for you. She had like a couple cases of my IP and like some t-shirts and stuff, like stickers and stuff like that. And so part of the thing was like, we were like, oh, we'll like put some pictures of her and all this stuff. So there's some pictures on Twitter, on probably Jayco's Twitter feed, if you were to read back to July and this year, of like, it's every, like, everybody. It might be over, honestly. You took everybody to go power and set them all on a table. On your end stuff, I'll give you a dude's way. Which is awesome. No, this is the end stuff. So, yeah, that, those Hang are on. definitely my thoughts. Hang on, I have, spirit, I have spirit tokens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so good. Spirit tokens. No, he, we, uh, we got some coming. Don't worry about This is on your end step. Yeah, so I can't do shit about it. Yeah. 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 Darkwood.build.net. But I think it would be fair to try and make sure. Yeah! Why not? Painted beta sapphire. You would just, I didn't get the checks. Yeah, I know you would. I've seen you in action. I've seen you in action. Do you see his hair right now? All right, looks I like uh, uh, so this video is getting pretty yeah, like, skippy. I thought we had it back, but it looks uh, like it's in rough shape. There are not as many pyromancers playing around. All right, so uh, we got all we need is to I think no, he got, he's got while, while Frank's copy of the Orchard holds back the oath. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, shit, exactly. Yeah. 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 Do you have like five of them? He's four or five. You have like 700. We need five total. They've got three dudes. There are some, okay. So uh, we may, we're gonna need more. Yeah, I'm not sure of the timing. Yeah, somebody's gonna like buy a turn. Yeah, right now, right now, I might. I may have more orchards in this piece. Yeah, but I'll drop the. You can just attack with his five six. Yeah, yeah. The stopping the oath doesn't stop Jayco; it just slows him down. But that's that's Frank's entire strategy: is to slow down for a few turns. I mean, that's what Frank wants, right? He just wants a little bit more. Dude, you're me. Yeah, Frank has a lot of time to draw the um, the dark depths, which will which will, which will just win it for him. He's he's bought himself a lot of time, um, but he has to do it. Yeah. Is the sorcery for everyone? If he doesn't have death yes. death yeah, death no one can cast the sorcery. Just we saw earlier in this match. No, I just showed up. Was that the thing? Yeah. Yeah. Academic. Mm -hmm. uh, this game is much more interesting because Frank has actual relevant claims. Um, hmm. Yeah, this is definitely a, a more interesting uh, game than we saw in uh, this Wiz. Go. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like the internet on their end is having some trouble and they're yeah, I mean, it's looking into it. I'm sure so it might just be his internet, his upload is not doing great right now. Yeah. It's gonna see if we can get this all day now. It's actually really good all day. Alright, I'll uh block these two. I'll take one. I'll go to eleven. Um, we might as well just have them reset the stream right now because yeah so uh, I'll cut I'll cut to uh, yeah I'll cut to Jacob's deck again 
Yeah, so let's <laughs> cut to Jacob's deck on the camera right now, and they're going to try to restart the stream. Hopefully, that will, uh, that will <laughs> fix things. Who knows? Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not seeing the the stream cut out on the other um, the I might take a few seconds. Yeah, it looks like mine just stopped. Yeah, okay. So they're restarting and then hopefully we'll see what's up soon. So <laughs> take another look at Jaco's list. Uh, yeah, it's just uh, we've seen this a bunch of times so far, but we know that Frank is holding off those Archons. That's Frank's big edge in this matchup is that uh, it takes Jaco quite a few turns to kill even after Oath is out. Exactly right. Jaco's deck is slow. Even if, you, like, turn, even if he's turn with Oath or something, he kills on like turn six. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I do wish we had... <laughs> Uh, a list of Franks we could throw up on screen, but we can't. I just don't have that. Uh, I mean, we could, you just like honestly, you just uh, I have a paste bin link if you want it. Um, yeah, maybe. Uh, maybe we can talk about because because we haven't talked about that deck list. Hang on, let me put this in a little nicer. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's a good way to put this up somewhere. <laughs> uh, hang on, I'll I'll put this up on on MTG site real quick, and I'll send you a link. All right, sounds good. So we're going to get uh, Frank's list up there soon so we can talk about that. Um, What's the side people use? It's not uh, Goldfish. It's not... T TC Dex? Is that one? That's uh, something else. Tapped out. Tapped out? Tapped out. Yeah. All right, do it up. <laughs> yeah, let me pass it up and tapped out and send you a link. All right. So we're going to get Frank's list up, and we can talk about that for a bit. Uh, so I got uh, Jimmy cut out there. Is the stream up now for you? Sorry, I let my push talk off. Uh, it's working for me. Oh, uh, okay. I probably need to um, reset it. But that's easy enough for me to do. Yeah, the, the quality looks like it's it's back up and running pretty effectively for me. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we're going to hop back to the yeah, match. Second basic. Exactly. That's all okay, we got a new camera. It's not yeah, currently sure. skipping. All right, phew. Reset helps. Right. Helps all technical problems. <laughs> no, we, we don't have that. I'm sorry. So, Honestly, I can't tell. This looks like it's the same game. Yeah, it's definitely it's the same like, game. We still hit that. Uh, uh, I think I have to sign up. I will. Uh, that's unpleasant. Well, all right, right don't worry about it. We got the... I feel like you just attack the next two turns. I'm just going to die. I'll draw. Yeah, I mean, honestly, even pace spin is fine. Um, right. I mean, I have a, I have a base bin before. I'm trying yeah, to think of something that I'll be able to like play ball. Right. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, so, yeah, we're really looking at a a kind of not very interactive race at the moment, Frank. Yeah, neither player is really doing much. That like Frank is like, I hope I draw a dark death, and so Jake is like, I hope you don't before I kill you. And like Frank is at five. Are you putting that we don't know what the so, fuck's going on over there? Just has this yeah. turn, basically. I'm not sure whose turn it is now. If, if it's Jacob's turn, then Frank has a, you know, a non tap Otherwise, like, the game would literally be over. Uh, you're up. Mm -hmm. Let's drop. All right. So Frank is basically looking to not die this turn. Like, he needs a 2020 immediately, or he dies to a five power flyer. Mm -hmm. I With will. Mediocre stats. <laughs> no. There's, oh my I'll god. I'll block none and take two. Uh, and yeah, so yeah, so. Nine? Okay. Yep. Screw it time, two. Do I have to keep all target? Actually, oh, from the butcher card, exile pile. Yeah. Oh, yeah. no, sorry, sorry. Go to your second main. Jake what do you got, Both again, yeah. looking for the Inferno what do you got, Titan. Here? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm jumping this shit. It's my bad. I have six cards in hand. Okay. Frank is up to something, having not uh, not scooped yet. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. My hand sucks, so it's like a bunch of artifacts. So uh, I'll keep <laughs> yeah. trigger this guy. Yeah. All right. So uh, we're gonna see either an archon no, no, or a for a titan coming up. Why is he wearing a shirt? Sometimes you wear pants. Sometimes you wear a shirt. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I mean that's game blossoms. Um, 
The altar is like one of the earliest ones I've ever seen on this. Yes. And I think these are one because they're just yeah. like red background, but the name is all found there. Ace to Jake. You build that dark design uh, magic. Yeah. Justin's Ace feeling Jake in the though. background. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty um, awesome. We can put that one backwards if you want for Justin. Yeah. I'll draw. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the results. The okay. results. I'm, I'm just joking. Oh, right. There's like. Matt's like, me for he's chopping out of his case. Yeah. I just want to make sure we're, we're on the level. Because I fucked up all types of you stuff this game. I'm still it's crushing fine. his cat. We're all doing this. Um, <laughs> well, okay. Alright, so uh, yeah, Jake's yeah, going yeah, for the yeah. attack. And that's, Frank scoops it up. Yep. That's game one. Okay, that's so that's game <laughs> one. <laughs> we're going to game two. <laughs> yes, let's go. We're two. doing this. I'm on the play. I'll throw the Jake list up on... Yeah. stream again so we can check it out but we did see this before um we know that it brings in a blazing archon which is uh you know very powerful here uh, exactly and we know he's blind because he poured it in the last time we saw him to play this matchup i sent you a link to karn hoarder to their end there which seems pretty reasonable yeah let me let's see how it looks uh that looks like that'll fit on stream Yep, I just have to <laughs> manipulate six windows and get it to work. Yeah, I understand. But we'll uh, we will get it on stream and then we can check out um, Frank's list. So all right. So meanwhile, uh, we you know we know that Jake was going to bring in the same stuff. So Jake before. is bringing in Leyline. We saw that earlier. He bringing in Archon as well. Uh, I assume rest in peace because if he's got Leyline, he's got rest. In, he's got rest in peace. It's a, it's a fifth copy. Uh, I'm curious what else he's seen. Stony Silence from Frank Postboard, which to me would think I don't want. I don't want Tormod script if I know he's bringing Stony Silence. That's I'm Jaco. I don't really want to bring in Ancient Grudge because I just don't care about Null Rod at all. Like I just could not care less about Null Rod. <laughs> Like yeah. Maybe you bring in one Ancient Grudge for Graph Digger's Cage, but even that doesn't feel particularly good. Like that still feels like drawing two Ancient Grudge just feels like I just wanna I just wanna puke. Feels worse than drinking Malort. <laughs> uh Foster Storm I think is an easy out because the only cards that like the only card that counters is Life from Alone, you don't care about that. Uh, Misstep seems great, especially on the draw when Frank is trying to play Toe and Exploration. Mana Drain honestly seems kind of like garbage too. I don't like Mana Drain, but I don't like Mana Drain at all in Vintage right now, and I haven't for like nine years or whatever. <laughs> so I don't know if Jacob likes those or not. Um, all his Planeswalkers seem whatever. Dakfane is not very good. It just, like, Dakfane will never steal a relevant artifact, but who cares? I don't know how Jacob feels about boarding out Dak Payton. He might just always leave them in because he values a plus one. So that's sort of up to him. All right, let me see if I can get triple setting this up. Um, yeah, that's all right. I'm talking about, talk about Andy's list a little more. Or, uh, not Andy, uh, Jacob's list. Uh, balance, not super interested in balance from Jacob because, like, his opponent only plays lands, I guess. I mean, Balance is kind of weird, right? Like, that's a very personal choice. What do you think? Do you, you like balance in Jaco's Oath deck against lands? Uh, I don't like it. It answers a fast uh, Dark Depths, but yeah, kill that, yeah. it, it certainly would not have been good in any of the, any of the games we've no. seen so far. But, like, and like, and like, Frank will play a lot of lands, so, like, he'll, Frank will always sacrifice lands to it. Like, does that matter? Is that a real effect that matters? Um, I, yeah, I, I don't think the land sacking is going to be too relevant for him. Like, I feel like you could do better. I feel like when you draw a balance, like, 80% of the time, it's just going to sit dead in your hand. And that's just not a thing I'm interested in. But then I also feel the same way about Leyline. I don't really, like, if I'm Jaco, I don't really want Leylines either. But Jaco clearly does because he's brought them in. We've seen them in before. All right. I am. Have... Oh, sorry, does Jaco have two labels in his sideboard? He does, right? Um, I can't what make a, it out. What a madman. Leobold Oath. <laughs> Leobold Oath. the old meme about Oath cyborging a Gixla Jailer. <laughs> Which I should say, not a meme. I have done that before without realizing that would I would Oath into them and not felt super good about it at the end of the event when someone's like, hey, you could have done that. 
I'm just like, oh. Yeah, it's, I'm really not good at this game. I don't play much Oath and Truth. <laughs> All right. Um, I got Frank's list up here. It's a little, it's a little tough to read, but that's okay. Um, yeah. So uh, relevant here, the Crab Trickers Cage, obviously, Nature's Queen, probably. We know we saw the Stony Silence. I don't. Yeah, so we saw I don't like it, but we'll see if it happens again. I agree. I think that's <laughs> bad. But maybe he's just like, I really want to bring out the ancient grudges, and mm -hmm, just mm -hmm. like, I need something. True. Uh, yeah. Obviously, abrupt decay is an auto include. Assassin's trophy, I think, is auto include. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Crab figures cage. And honestly, I would really like to have nature's claim if I'm Frank, because like. I, I agree with all that. Yeah. Most of the sideboard seems good. Icons is like kind of annoying for Frank. It's not great, but it's annoying. Mm -hmm. uh, I would not bring in the, the crop rotation because like, who cares? It's not, you don't want to sack two cards. Uh, Chains is garbage too, because Jacob doesn't draw any extra cards. Jacob doesn't have like a draw spell in his deck. Uh, Dark Confidant probably wouldn't do that guy against Oath the Druid. It's just saying. <laughs> yeah. I can see that so being not personal so opinion. I don't really love boarding and dudes against them. I agree with that. Uh, as far as cards that come out, like honestly, I think the Glacial Chasm is not good for Frank, but he clearly likes it because he kept uh, Maze of it also doesn't seem very good because like that stalling doesn't seem great, but maybe that's fine. Uh, Brady says that Tabernacle is actually the Brady that we talked about earlier is a, a big lands player from the south, from the Oklahoma area. Uh, Brady says Tabernacle is good on the play, I guess, just in case, like, in case of Oath. But, like, you can't really go turn one Tabernacle at Pendrel Vale and too. pass, match, hoping the that, that they go, like, big. Orchard uh, Mods. So that just doesn't seem good. Uh, yeah, uh, it's... Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the timing that's doesn't really work out so well. That's a thousand percent not factual, because I have a whole other bottle in my uh, trunk. Yeah, I'm going to send you a message in Discord real quick. That's somebody else's bottle. That's fine. Um... He likes those import stuff. What do the people in this room want to do? I'll keep. That's great. What do the people in this room want to do? I might go get some water. I'm a little thirsty. Nat, what do you want to drink? I'll have water too, please. That sounds good. Thanks. All right. So, uh, they're <laughs> getting ready to start. Resolving all against. Oh, all right. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Jacob is like, doing Jacob things. Drawing on his dollar bill. He's got a lot of dollar bills there. I'm gonna, to, I'm gonna have to message G and be like, hey man, Jaco, Jaco is hoping you'll show up. Jesus Christ. That's <laughs> man, yeah. that dark would have filled that man. Yeah, I'm feeling now, Mr. Krabs. What'd you have? I'm feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. I don't know what that means, but it's a millennial meme, that's what. All right, so we've got to dig through time in Jacob's hand. That's that's one you're not looking for the opener for sure. Keeping that. Pull the fucking phone. I just want to kick it in so I want to know where we were. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Jacob right. is not does not want to be rushed. He will not be rushed. Yeah. I'm just close to shit. That's fine. All right. My video is freaking out for a second. <laughs> Hopefully that comes back. Yeah, I, I had a quick skip, and it's not doing great. But it's we're back in slideshow mode. We'll be, uh, so Frank's got turn one cage. Jago with all of his metal missteps has no answer to that. So that's pretty good for Frank. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even if Jago has an answer for the cage, it's probably gonna buy quite a few turns. Yeah, I mean like he could have like abrupt decay. He's got access to two of them post board he's got ancient grudges uh cage is the only reason that i'm actually interested in, in abrupt decay from jaco's side mm -hmm. or sign not abrupt decay, uh ancient grudge uh decay kills like fast bond and stuff too which is not great but it's better than some of his cards <laughs> the misty rainforest take the misty rainforest um, the Yeah, Frank has got one of his three boxes. Did he just pass on three mana? Interesting. 
I'll go to Discord, so. Uh, so he's probably gonna make two wastelands. Uh, in so response, my guess. So if, I, if you crack, yeah, this yeah. is the best water I've ever had. Fade is good, fade me. And I think, oh I think I just heard Jacob say he's going to discard, so it's. So, Wait, Jacob's going to discard. I, I heard him say that. I'm not sure. I think it may be. I think it may be Jason's turn, and Frank is copying the wasteland at a turn. And Jacob is responding to copying the wasteland, which is interesting. Uh, uh, like a no. I'm not sure. That is a basic Can we pause the string? Why not? I don't know. We'll, we'll see in a second here. So he's gonna get a basic. Well, I mean, like, I literally could look could be that, that Frank tried to copy yeah, the cool. Misty like in response. Like that's what prompted Jacob. Oh, that's just the real choice. You're literally getting balled the fuck out of control, like BTF OOC about the. That's a little detail. Yeah, it's it's. I, no, it's cool. I, I want to I want you to look at the bottom of that. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah. 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 he's really cool. Um, yeah. I'm really proud of him. Oh, it's adorbs. Just. Oh, this might be a. Bit, uh, I guess that's just an island. Uh, yes. I'm assuming from the text box. Yeah, no. like, this, this is like a fancy island. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice thing. That's what they're talking about. Dude, they do that shit. Alright, I'm just checking if you can get that. If it's. My turn can't? No, no. I see your end start. Yeah, I just got it. All right, so uh, this is still at the, during uh, Jacob's end step, I believe, uh, with copy wasteland on the stack. Uh, I don't know if he's actually casting anything or he just wants to get the land. This card. Yeah, so so Jacob has a one land hand. Um, Turn one away. It's not great. Yeah, He's a one line hand and also no one drop spells. Which to be fair is not surprising because Jacob oh, yeah. does not play a lot of one drops. Like he doesn't play pre very often. He doesn't play that kind of hand. I'm packing. He has, a, he has his own <laughs> deck building. Jacob just got his ancestral misstep and I saw he ran off of the table. Oh, Hold on. oh gross. You're 18. And we can see Frank has the depths out and a stage out right um, now. I'm so, also, and, and two mana. Seventeen. Um, so it doesn't look so great no, for Jacob. So this game. is this is the kind of so drop I took before. Is like um, uh, some rando disruption garbage. From, uh, and then, like, this is not my own game. This is game. Dark 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 build that net. When I was told it was, it was like this is a this is a now it's game. Honestly, this is sort of the one. I don't really know how Jacob beats this mindset. Yes. No, he this is like his my end stuff. Yeah, I'm sorry, back, so he's gonna get to ancestral, but like, yeah, yeah that's fine. what could he? What could he draw? I, I do remember my first time playing. Like, I don't know what he could possibly just, like, draw that will really be relevant. He wrong. got a land, it seems, oh. but oh, landmarks, whatever. His deck is just not so good. Slayer should just. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything. So balance. Well, no, because balance because it's sorcery speed won't do anything. Yeah. I could get balanced to keep Merit Lage off for a single turn, but that's not great either. Oh, actually, balance no, no, would work no, because... because yeah, he, yeah, but, yeah, Frank has to he sack all the lands. Has, has it, yeah, it it takes, you would need exactly a Mind Pearl or um, Black Lotus, right? Yeah, yeah balance. If he plays two lands, Frank will just keep his two that, and like, he'll sack oh, Wasteland. <laughs> 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 Sorry. Like, Frank is probably going to make his next land drop because his deck is all land. Yeah. So, now, Jacob has a lot of sorcery one. speed answers. Yeah, uh, to, uh, not a lot, but some sorcery yeah, answers. But that's not going to do anything. Oh shit. Right? Oh shit. Windfall. Hold the fuck up. Counting storm. storm. <laughs> 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 that's a second man. Okay, sure. Okay. I'll play. <laughs> Stay around, Drain. You can uh, destroy the Mox Emeralds and force yeah, him no, to I get a no, creature no, in play no, and no, then kill it. I think Frank would just let that happen, honestly. Also, Jacob does not have a red source yet. Can we calm it down? Uh, uh, well, just play that. Just play a scalding turn. Right, yeah, the fact is, yeah. is, is red source. But I mean, he would need he would need both that and an answer. Like the answers are like Jace, which are very expensive. So yeah, and if he fetches, I can't believe he's still doing. It. He probably I wouldn't blame him. He would have to have a Lotus Jace to have an answer. Sixteen. Because the fun part is even like <laughs> above the game, it's yeah. like, you like, Mary Lane just didn't destroy some of the monsters. We've been doing this for eight hours. You know, so. <laughs> if the 
the stream has more than 10 <laughs> people on it, I'll have so many friends. I don't say that it's a The Dark Dab stage is kind of I'm at 18. I'm at 18. It's scary because it's really hard to interact with it. Yeah. You basically only have wastelands to interact with what they're doing if they just draw their two combo pieces. You can't do anything. You can't counter them. You can't kill their dude. It's like, you have to just be able to like chunk through and do whatever you want to do with them. You can't kill their dude. It's like, you have to be able to like jump block in the chase the land sculptor or like more wastelands than they have, right? You need plus one wastelands on them to be able to do anything and that that doesn't feel good. So uh so to get the balance which which just buy time at a minimum. Yeah. It lets you like like Frank I expect will just sack he might like float one and sack wasteland and that's the whole Well the, he's, yeah, it looks like he's sacking the depth, which it's means this. He must have another. There's right? another, but uh, I can't quite tell. I'm just sorting it out. Yeah, all right. Uh, so it's sack the depths. I would guess that means he's got another, but. Um, yeah, I mean, he yeah. has to have another. If he doesn't um, have another, like, Frank is better at magic than this. He must have <laughs> Frank's too good at magic. She'd be like, oh, sack my win. Untap pass. Make it a tundra in the turn. Yep, makes sense. Yeah, yeah, I don't really know what he's going to cast with it, but whatever. I'm I guess so it's better than now. Wasteland, yeah. but it's hard to say for sure. Like, yeah, he's but got Dark Tips number two, obviously, so. That's nothing. That was a storm captain last year. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, we're talking. Um, the question is, why didn't Frank when you just put the use? Why did he close it? Yeah, so what do you think? Why did he choose to yeah. okay, sack his thing and do nothing rather than full mana and go off on Jacob's second main phase? Yeah, I mean, you you already just mentioned it. There is a uh, there is a chance that Jacob. I mean, we we, we, met, we talked before. He's got super speed removal, so playing. What's he got? He's got only Jason Mind Sculptor, right? Yeah, Jason Mind Sculptor. Um, I guess Balance is one of the sources, but that's not the he, he, one. Balance obviously was already on the set, so Balance is not really a risk. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the odds are in Frank's favor if he. Oh, I'm not gonna lie with you there. Yeah, but floats. I'm just wondering, like, what, what, like, if you're, you're Frank, you're thinking, like, what do I do in response to Balance? Yeah, I think that. Why, why do you? Why do you just do nothing? Why do you just? Sack a land and say okay, and then I'm happy to play a second cap. Like what? What? What world do you think of where you're concerned? Well, it, it's gotta be a removal, right? It's gotta be the the Jaco is the answer to depths now. Uh, could be Caracas, right? Could be. No, remember, Frank does not have Jaco's list, so it's true. Yeah. Any sorcery speed answer. Did you guys need me to look up cards? No, we're good. By by waiting now, it's gonna take Frank an extra turn to go off. But yeah. if he has if he has another land, he has that extra yeah. turn. Makes sense. Um, so that do, that does make sense. I think I'm in my martial order. Like, hey, I don't yeah. know what's happening. Help <laughs> me. Tell me what's happening. Yeah. 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 Given, given the deck list. I just thought about Karakas. I've never seen Karakas. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, actually, actually, yeah, Jake already played a land, so it couldn't be Karakas. My mistake. But uh, there are other sorcery speed things they could be worried about. Like, for me, it feels like Lotus Chase was sort of the or like Mana Curve Chase is like the yeah. big, the scary. Like, that's the big fear. Right? You're like, <laughs> yeah. Jake, you're Frank. You're like, I think Jacob is trying to. He's trying to goad me into it because like he knows Jacob knows that he's he's f. He's dead on board basically. Uh, he's trying to trick me into going off. I'm like, I, I, you're just like, if you're Frank, you're like, all right, float a mana, uh, I'll put balance this yourself. And Jake is like, all right, I pass. Frank's like, I'll, 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 I'll uh, still in the main phase, right? I will make a merit lane. Jake is like, oh, it's still my main phase. Cool, play mana, crit, play Jason really Mindscope, really they're bouncer, dude. Really good. You have uh, one land so and one mox, and you might have a Jason Mindscope there. Yeah, which is right. tough for Frank to come back from. Really that was good. Bad. Yeah. Uh, I'm like, Jake is still, the, like, Jake isn't just instant win from there but that's pretty good he's good he's not he also doesn't lose immediately from there which is right here he's about to lose right because we're going to make a 20 20 and murder jimmy and andy yeah i'm not gonna get there oh jimmy is chiming into 
feels like this would be Frank's first win in this matchup in four games, right? <laughs> yeah, I, I do think what we've seen on camera makes it look like the Lance deck is not very yeah. impressive, but having played yeah. against it and seen other games, like, oh, it yeah, is very it's, scary. It's, the Lance deck is a lot more powerful than you've seen, because, like, like I've, I've played against this deck. It's just like, this deck is, like, pretty brutal. Yeah, and uh, like, it, I don't know if you've played against Fast Bond, but like Fast Bond <laughs> is a good magic card. We're like, oh, cool. Like, what? I thought Explanation was good, but you're just like turn Fast Bond and then play four more lands. You're like, all right, Dark Depths kill you turn two. You're like, oh, that's, that's not reasonable. Why didn't you do that when you that's not fun. I would say I would say that Frank did make one right, serious right, misplay, which is how do you play a dark death stack at a tournament? Because if I had my turn, I could like theoretically. Yeah, I don't like, know. That's, that's like I was confused. I was thinking maybe he was looking for Jacob has no chance. Like this is this is an attitude. I'll play first. If there were a judge here, I'd ask him to do it. Anyone need anything? Gatorade, maybe all the above. I think the French are looking for is everything. Disgusting grossness. I have always wanted to play. Um, and you also, uh, it's like a, a life dream of mine to play uh, a Dark Depths deck with the uh, the giant Cthulhu model from the game of Horror Man, Clicks. Really I don't know if you've seen that. It's like you know, like fun to have. Like, oh. Um, is it Dream Dreamblade? Yeah, Dreamblade. Yeah, I never played it. Oh my god, they, they put up like twenty thousand dollars in a gen Can I get a more shot? I remember. Oh, we're actually out of Malort. As a gen con, I mean, Jared Goldberg had hung out. Uh, Jared Goldman. That's Gatorade and Ice Tea. Way to be a man. Junior Gladberg. My favorite thing is, is Steve is like, Steve Sorry, is spicy. I'm done. That dude called me back. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. What's that? Actually, like, I called him out on it, like, a year ago. I was like, hey, man. That's so sorry. I know, like, I thought it was funny, but, like, you kept misspelling my name and Jared's name. They're like, wait, no, I didn't. Like, literally didn't even know. Yeah, like, you kept misspelling my name and Jared's name. They're like, wait, no, I didn't. Like, literally didn't even know that he had misspelled my name and JR's name for like six years straight. Uh, but so JR Goldberg, who has, if you look at a Steve Menendi article, you, if you just control it for Goldman, that's how you'll find him. Cause he's in like every article in Ohio. Uh, but, but me and JR, like we, we played a uh, Gen Con, we went to Gen Con one year. We played Dreamblade a little bit and like, Jar at the time worked at a game store, so he had played Dreamblade before. I want either of uh, you. So he to played have like their demo, like, and he annihilated me. No, oh, also, Dreamblade is a terrible game. But I, I don't want to beat him. It's just is it is it terrible because he beat you? <laughs> no, it's just actually myself. really bad. Oh, no, like it's like a garbage miniatures game. Yeah, I understand, or, or I heard that it was a massive like economic failure. Like they put a ton of money into it and they just lost everything. Oh, good. Um, I mean, they, they put up like this massive like twenty k tournament. Oh, yeah. And like they put a bunch of money in like, like competitive dreams. Oh yeah, I think it's better. Uh, you're old enough to remember like the versus scene, which is yeah, like, yeah. oh, like here's was a shitty game that like a bunch of really good magic players are like, oh, this is just oh, free money. I don't know. I'll play this, I'll play this deck that. Literally cannot lose. Like you straight up, if you were better than the opponent, you went like behind. I know what happened. Percentage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just a bunch of magic players played that and just won a bunch of free money, which sounded great. But I was not good enough at magic at the time to do that. Uh, but other people who were good enough did that. But Dream Blade was kind of like that. It was it was awful. But it was like the it, it was like big miniature like Cthulhu like figures and stuff like that. So that's when I when I think of people like oh man I want like this Cthulhu like like figure to be like my Apparently, they just think of Dreamblade and just like, oh man, let's <laughs> like, so up that one real bad. Yeah. Like, that was not their best day. I always loved, there was a quote I read, it was, uh, no, no, At the point in time when it's Mike right, Long not, was a household name and was also banned for cheating, uh, started playing the Lord of the Rings card game. And uh, uh, was it the five rings or whatever. No, Lord of the Rings. Uh, there have been more than one of those card games, but it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, I just remember he had some quote where he's like, "Oh, I love this game. It's my own personal pro tour." Because <laughs> apparently, when he got banned for Magic, he just switched to this other game and just beat everyone at that. Who knows if he was cheating or not? Who has any idea? But, uh, he had the really. 
Like he was, he was sort of one of the first of a, he was like the prototype, right, of like players who were like actually like really, really fucking good at, at card games and also were like shameless cheaters. Yeah, yeah. I think it was a, a common like attitude in the early days of like, but like, like, it, like it was really hard to be really, really good. There wasn't a ton of people who were like really, really good. And there's even fewer of those people who are both really, really good and also just shameless, <laughs> just pure cheaters. Like in the modern age, like the, the Alex Bertensini uh, is sort of the the natural predator, like the pre like the natural. Was it ancestor? No, the, the opposite of descendant. Ancestor to that. Yes, that's a word. Uh, you like Bertensini, the Bertensini, as people have called him. Uh, or the ancestor of like really, really good at the game. Like if they didn't cheat, would still be like really, really successful and really good. But with cheating, are just that much better. Like almost unbeatable. I have a, I have a really old, uh, like a published book, a strategy guide, like Magic the Gathering Advanced Player Strategy Guide, which was written by uh, Mark Justice, who was one of the early cheaters. I was about to say Mark yeah. Justice. Also a notorious yeah. cheater. Yeah, and it's great because he has this whole book and when it was published, like you could buy it at a bookstore, um, he was not already outed as being an absurd yeah, cheater. Exactly. So I think like, even, like he was, he was, he was, but he was good, but like nobody was actually good back then. I mean, the game was more random too, right? So uh, the better players wouldn't win as often. Um, well, I think that was just, the, I think that, I don't think the the game was any more random, Five, six, right? Like, look at old school. Like, build, old school is sort of the format game. they were playing, and like, the old school is not a more random format. It's just like the people who are good, they were not that good, and like, everyone was like garbage. Everyone was bad. It's <laughs> so, like cheating would cheating would get you an advantage, but like, you were still not very good. You were still not good enough to really take advantage. And Mike Long was the first example of the dude who was the combination of. I really, like, it was like top ten magic I mean, players in this era, of like skill wise, <laughs> and also yeah, uh, incredibly successful and effective cheater, which like like catapulted him from like top ten to like top two or three best player results wise of his era because like he was able to leverage the cheats that effectively, right? <laughs> like 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 you like I don't know you uh, surely you've played people I know I've played people like when I was younger like F and M and stuff like that who were like. Clearly cheating, but like they're terrible. Like they're just not good. Like they're cheating, but they're. Oh, I mean, when when I played, like they just play badly and they cheat. Like they'll draw an extra card sometimes and just like do cheating things, but also just like f it up all the time. We're just like, well, you're cheating, but also like I feel bad calling you out because I'm still gonna destroy you, even though like you're cheating every turn. You should probably stop him early though. I guess it depends. It's it's a, like that was it's been years and years since I've yeah yeah with anyone. Like, I think it, I think it's time was just like yeah like I'm, not, I'm like even like I'm talking like back in like mirrored and limited format stuff like that it's like I don't, uh, a guy knew that we would play and he was actually he was a judge honestly uh, and he would like cheat and like add cards to the drafts we did like we would do like eight man drafts in my dorm. And we would play, and he would like add, like he would bring in outside guards and add them to his draft deck. And it's like, I feel bad calling you out on this just because like you're so bad that like, oh cool, weird, you're playing mono red in triple mirrored and draft with like four slip firewalkers. That seems pretty good, except for that you're still like one and two in the draft. Like, what, like I want to call you out for cheating. Every like all the rest of us all know you're cheating. All of your friends, all of the other seven of us all know you're cheating, but you're still losing badly because you're just not good at this. Like, we don't really want to call you out on it because, like, what, like, what are we supposed to do? It just feels bad for everyone. <laughs> all right. So, uh, is, is this on stream? Yeah. So we have in, in progress match. Uh, oh, we're about to go. To whatever. Whatever. Uh, so, so Frank finally got a way to get multiple lands in play with the turn one exploration, and he's going to his turn two right now. That definitely makes a big difference in the deck. Yep. Um, Jake had an ancestral though early, which is pretty good. And okay. Frank did not have his misstep for it. I do not know what that card is. It was a Mox Diamond. Oh, okay, Mox Diamond. Yep. Yeah. So, just discards the Tabernacle to Mox Diamond and plays the Tabernacle. All right. All right. I mean, that's why it's a two-up. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now, did not play a second land, so we know that Frank is out of lands in hand. 
Um, oh, he passed out of the so he's got to have something. It's obviously not Loam or he would have played it. Yeah. Uh, how many cards? Like, it can't be one of his disruption oh, cards. He must have some kind of abrupt decay effect in hand, and maybe a crop rotation would be my guess. That does make sense. Yeah. Because, um, like, any of his sorceries, he would have just played them with four mana, especially. And, like, Null Rod into, into Mox Chat seems fine. Mm hmm. Yeah. He's playing. Oh, so he's playing. Yeah. So Frank has uh, one Mox Diamond, one Emerald, yeah. one Jet. Interesting. Oh, from this guy. Okay. So 18 mm -hmm. um, plus strand. Got it. Yeah. So we'll throw. Um, I am in the way. Tabernacle on screen. It's uh, Tabernacle. Usually an anti-aggro card, and anti-aggro cards are usually not what you play against Oath. Yeah. But it has it's a, actually really good against shops too in this matchup. Yeah, this, yeah. All, uh, right. so um, this, but it has an interesting, so. an interesting role in this matchup, which uh, you were talking about before, Jimmy. Which is sometimes exactly. you can use a tabernacle to. You just want to throw your tokens in the garbage from Forbidden Orchard. Yeah. Uh, and like, uh, uh, let's say Frank, uh, if Frank can get an untapped wasteland in play. If Jacob plays an orchard, Frank can just waste like it on Jacob's turn. Is, Jacob has to tap it, and then Frank can let the token die. So. So Jacob basically has to get. Right, he has to have to more orchards than Frank has <laughs> one yeah. wasteland uh, I'll take the In this case, Manic Ghost Quarter is the same thing as wasteland for Frank, right? Um, because he doesn't care if there's any lands. He cares about yeah. specifically so orchard to keep creatures up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I have a Jacob's uh, got that. Face the Mind Sculptor. Uh, Which... That's pretty good against Tabernacle. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, totally ignores the Tabernacle plan, and uh, it looks like Frank has a, a slower draw. Though, if he does have the uh, Assassin's Trophy, like he said, might be in there, um, you know, it's a fine answer. I'll uh, brainstorm. Yeah. The, the, the one of uh, Abrupt Decay would not be so great <laughs> facing out of Jace. Yeah, I mean, the Abrupt Decay, it just oh, feels so, so bad. You're like, oh, I got my Abrupt Decay, and I can't kill Jace the Mind Sculptor. Good mm -hmm. intention, Dice. I'm gonna go jump off a bridge. Cause that's how I feel, cause I've played that a lot where I'm just like, oh, my removal is abrupt decays. And I can't kill Jace. Yeah, trophy is got, quite cool though. What's your back? Yeah, and the last time nice. I played a uh, bug, I played one Maelstrom Pulse. Specifically, like, the only card I wanted to kill. If it was just like one black green kill Jace the Mind Sculptor, I would have played that card. I would play one of that card on the sideboard. Dreadboar. It's the only thing I was interested in. Black green Dreadboar would be nice. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Andy, don't tell me. That, I mean, that's Assassin's Trophy, right? Except they get a land. Yeah. The problem is that, like, I really want it to be uncounterable because sure. when they cast Jace yeah. and use it, they probably have a counter spell. Yeah. Because, you know, they just drew three extra cards. It's pretty gross. Uh, I'm really okay. interested by the fact that Assassin's Trophy can kill a bazaar. So if if you have a deck that just runs four main deck Assassin's Trophies um, and like a couple wastelands, you have a pretty reasonable game one against Dredge. That's really interesting to me. Sorry, that's not awful, but like the thing is that like unless you have an early like if, unless you have like turn one Deathrite Shaman, like yeah, if just dredging if they're just like. Draw step dredge, no lands in play. You still can't beat that with bug. <laughs> yeah, and like like Leovold doesn't do that. Like you, it, you can't really play a clock in bug. Like you can't play Delbridge. You can't play Goifs. Apparently, people play one, but you can't play more than one Goif because like those cards are just blanks against like outcome and Jeskai and all those matchups. Mm -hmm. Like you can't afford to play like an actual real clock. Which means like game strategy. Like even if you're like turn one death right. And then like bizarre go and you're like waste your bizarre and they're like all right use it discard two dredgers and you're like oh, i could like get a death rate of this guy I'll, I'll remove one and then you dredge the other and just go off because the deck has uh, so many dredge cards you can't remove them all. Uh, sure so like you're really you're, you're uh, it's already a, a pretty heavy sort of uh, rng kind of matchup right where you're hoping they don't dredge super well or don't draw the bizarre early or you have a waste and in that uh, case, you're just like, well, if you draw well, like, I had the god draw, and I still lose badly. Like, I still just get annihilated. Like, I've, I've been on the death right side of that, and it's just like, yeah, I don't... Yeah. I have the best possible <laughs> draw I could have, and it doesn't matter. Yeah, I mean, a death right with, with no follow-up is is not not enough to be the dredge deck. Yeah, but. and it's, and like, the deck, you can't afford to play, like, actual real, like, quote-unquote real follow-up, like, follow-up that actually matters. You're going to play, like, a 
Leovold or something? Like, yeah. that doesn't matter. That doesn't I mean, stop I, trash. I, I, a death right in a wasteland, I think, probably goes a long way. But, I mean, you, that's your best possible. It's a tough spot, matchup. But, like, <laughs> yeah. It's still not good enough. Like, I, did, I guess in my head, I feel like. Game one against Trench. But I, I guess I guess what I'm thinking is that most decks have like a five percent game one against Dredge, and Bug oh, yeah. might have like a fifteen percent. <laughs> like it's still bad, oh, totally. but it's dramatically yeah, totally. better. And over the course of you know the twelve matchups you play in a year, you know of, against Dredge, whatever. Totally, you're, you'll win game ones like one out of ten or something like that, right? You cer it's certainly more than other decks, but you're right that it's still it doesn't take a terrible matchup to make it good. But it does make it better. Yeah, I'll draw. It's, like it's, it's not zero, but it's not like you're not going to build your deck around. Like, well, maybe I'll get some game ones there. Like, it's not like you can be like, oh, well, I'll like cut a dredge hay card. It's like, no, nah, I still got to play like eight anti dredge cards in the sideboard. So it looks like. I don't know, like, I don't know the access to like more powerful stuff. So Jayco ramping up some uh, planeswalkers there. I'm pretty sure that's a DAC. Um, yeah, Dak plus yeah, Jace is, uh, he gets to see a lot of cards every turn. Yeah, that's what happened. That, that is a lot of draw. <laughs> you Jace, you put two back, and you just yeah. immediately yeah. nailed them. That's pretty good. That's better than I thought. Well, Cam Box Diamond. Hey, you're at it. Pretty good. Rank is not great. Okay, I'll float a blue. You cannot find the best in stage. I take one for Mana. Yeah. I have 15. It's still your turn. If uh, if Jaco doesn't just win with the Planeswalker's oh, ultimate, he's gonna get an oath very soon with know, that kind of card draw. Weird. I don't really know who's winning to be honest. This. <laughs> oh, oh, sick. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I mean, we got that. We got one half of the combo out for Frank, and if he draws a stage, then the you know the Jace and the Doc can't actually stop it. If, 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 you know, exactly. Yeah. Like nothing Jaco's doing interacts with their like train. Yeah. I feel like this match is really having, like, is like, if Frank draws the ability to just, like, natural Merrillage, he does. Jaco dies. Yeah. And if he doesn't, Jaco eventually will grind him out. But, like, mm. honestly, that's sort of all fair <sighs> vintage decks against right? Yeah. yeah. If they um, natural Merrillage, you Well, win, you know, so, like, a, a mentor deck will have some number of source yeah. of flushers. Sort of uh, but, like, but some decks just don't have any kind of answer. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, and drawing, uh, was it six cards a turn if he wants? Oh, yeah, he's seeing, six he's cards. seeing like, his whole deck every turn, uh -huh. but, like, there's not really many cards that matter. Like, getting Oath, like, Oath would be great because it lets him actually put on a clock. Yeah, I think that's what's But I was doing some square co scare quotes around that because that clock is, like, five a turn. Yeah. It's a pretty anemic clock. Like it's it's like the worst clock of any real vintage deck, basically. Oh, uh, yeah, skippy stream here. Yeah, but that is okay. You didn't miss much, let me tell you. <laughs> Yeah, we got um Jaco here is is on a Steve Menendian brainstorm turn at the moment. Man. The time. With the with the Jason play, it can't be that hard. <laughs> You're just gonna see all those cards again. Uh, taking his time though. It's tough, it's tough to know. I don't know what he has, but yeah. Uh, uh, Jaco asking for the life total. Don't don't know what that could mean, but it means something. I mean, it just means Jaco is stalling, Stop for time. dirtling around. Just, Let's be fair, he's just dirtling around. Drunk and forgets what a life total is. Who knows? Looking to see if Jaco has anything that could make an ultimate DAC more of a threat, but I'm not seeing many... Like, there's no Pyroblasts in the deck. Um... Or there, I guess there is one of the sideboard. Yeah, just think it, yeah. It, it's pretty realistic that Jaco gets to ultimate back this game if oh, he yeah. wants, but I don't actually know if that's going to help. Yeah. I think it's just, just going to be a really good draw spell. Uh, so his, his, he has an Abrupt Decay. Uh, uh, that card will let him uh, still Merit Lage because it's indestructible, but it costs three or less. Mm -hmm. Like, that is a real interaction that could happen. Well, does so it? We'd have to get... What's that? No, but uh, Merit Lodge is indestructible, right? It doesn't Abrupt matter, decay. Though, like, yeah, so that's why it works, right? Because uh, if you, you, uh, you deck ultimate, 
you target it with abrupt decay. Oh, I see what you're saying. With the so, ultimate. I mean, with the ultimate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's indestructible, so it stays in play. Yeah, okay, that does make sense. I forgot we were talking about the DAC yeah, ultimate. Yeah, so that does make sense. I'll take one. Though there's even that's, a... That's a point where abrupt decay matters. But, I mean, Jaco has abrupt decay for cage anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that that could be relevant. All right, it's pretty good. Yeah. Orchard. Oh, hard casting. Uh, looks like an Archon. My stream, so, is, my stream is a bit behind at the moment. Yeah, uh, mine's Skippy too, but uh, Jaco just hard cast an Archon of Valor's Reach. And he was deciding what to name. I think. But, uh, um, so should yeah. we get, I think every time we see him, this is like his oh, fifth so. Archon. Like his fifth, his fifth first Archon, I guess. <laughs> yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Uh, the fifth time he has put his first Archon into play, and it's named Sorcery every single time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll move Counter from Dark Deaths. So clearly, oh boy, Fespian Sage A. That's a magic card. Alright. Uh, so suddenly Frank, I think, is in the lead. Yeah, yeah. Which is a weird thing to say when you, your Oath opponent has out uh, a, a seven counter Jace, a five counter attack. They just hard cast their own target. Exactly right. <laughs> but he's somehow losing because his own targets don't matter and you can't really interact with Merit Lage. Uh, do, I don't think Jacob, Jacob didn't have any assassin trophies, right? I didn't see those. I don't think he yeah, has them. Yeah, I think he just had an abrupt decay. Yeah, I see the Erupt Decay, I don't see any Assassin's Trophies. So if he had Trophy, um, he would be able to kill the Dark Depth in response to the stage activation, or the stage, and like, spend, like, basically save a turn. Mm -hmm. But since he doesn't have any, that's not great for him. Yeah, and, um... So yeah, there's some um, Pyroblast here, but I'm assuming he boarded them out. Yeah, I would expect so. Oh, it, is Dak... To go for it. Is Dak Speller Ability? Or is it just spell? Uh, a uh, spell. A spell. Okay. I was going to say uh, an oh, Inferno oh, Titan oh, dropping. Oh, or or Jace. That would be great. But, uh, yeah. So, Frank has the... So, Frank has the Dark Sox combo, but uh, now Jaco has a... Blocker. He's a flying blocker. The Archon's last. Yeah, so he can block yeah. and, and then bounce with Jace. So, it's actually... I mean, it's still, it's still good for Frank to have that interaction happen, but... Um, it's not great for either player. Like, neither, neither player is very happy about that, right? 14 to 18. But Jacob will be able to we'll keep his Jace in play. And Frank has spent two full cards on that, what? right? Mm -hmm. He's used his mean? only depths and his only stage. So it'd be really difficult for Frank to be able to combo again the following turn. Oh, and Jaco, unfortunately, yeah, Jaco may have missed the Tabernacle trigger. Um, oh, uh, so he lost his Archive, which means that he probably is dead right here. That is an unpleasant way to go, but so be it. Where are we in the game? This is my first man. You have the upkeep on this guy? Uh, so yeah, so Jaco okay, yeah, yeah. forgot his Archon trigger to card, Tabernacle of Pendulum Veil, which means he had to sacrifice his Archon of Valor's Reach. Uh, he's gonna go max card dig, which is Jace for er, Dak first and then Jace. Mm -hmm. So he draws two discards too. Uh, he is really looking for basically his second Archon or like Oath Time Lock, which are obviously both pretty rough draws to get to. So I can cast Sorcerer? Yep. Yeah, it's good. I'm just checking. Uh, <laughs> Jaco excited that he can cast Sorceries oh, again. It is, it's true. My, his own card is not preventing him from casting the spells anymore. Yeah. So we could see a time walk in a second, which would result in an ultimate DAC and a you fairly large sure. chase. No, DAC is minus seven, right? No, it's minus six. Minus six? Yeah. No, I, again, I don't even know if ultimate DAC matters. I don't know what else is in the door. I don't know if uh, gather. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. I, I, DAC, uh, I can. I'm looking at it right now, but I can put it on the screen. Oh, sorry, I've, I've never actually ultimated a Dak so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Dak, Dak's pretty easy to ultimate. It's definitely the Planeswalker that I've seen ultimated the most in vintage. It is very easy, but it isn't very relevant. <laughs> well, it, it can be. Um, but in Jacob's deck, not so much. Or in this, in this matchup, yeah. not so much, for sure. I'm 
Jake was looking at his face. That's that's probably one of the best. Yeah, it's resolving. resolving. Jaco F this game up bad. <laughs> He's not wrong. That is in fact true, especially not paying one for Archon here is like oh, brutal. Okay. I mean, I'm pretty he, instead of chump blocking it. and bouncing, he's just gonna die if he doesn't cast a creature here, basically. Or time walk. Yeah. And even the time walk isn't necessarily gonna save him unless it draws into No, time walk won't save him, but it's at least lets him draw some more cards. Yeah. This is a bad spot for Jaco for sure. Uh, so this matchup, basically, so we, we watched this matchup in, like, round one. Uh, this time, uh, Frank has drawn his natural combo in two of three games. And, like, both those games, you seem like Jaco doesn't do anything for a while. He's Jace, like, five times, but mm -hmm. none of his cards do anything. Well, he is, right? he is fate sealing with the Jace, so he's not taking that okay. deep. But, uh... Even that, though, like... That's because he knows none of his cards yeah. do anything, right? Yeah. Like, none of the cards in his deck are actually win conditions. He doesn't have Time Ball Key. He doesn't have Crystal Brain. He doesn't have Emrakul. Like, literally not a single card in his deck really interacts with lands in play. So Jaco is very much on the I hope Frank doesn't natural draw his combo. And yep. Frank, this game so, is draw natural yeah. draw his combo again, right? Now, I didn't I didn't catch uh, the exact turn before he drew the combo, but Fate Seal Jace is pretty good. At, it's pretty at yeah, stopping it's at stopping a lands player with no deck manipulation from not drawing the combo, but if he gets two yeah, relevant cards in a row, right. then uh, like life from Lom was really scary. Yeah. If you don't have Archon out, right? Cause, uh, yeah, yeah, which was that later, but not the whole time. Yeah, yeah. Like five times are not good. Obviously, combo pieces are bad, and like you don't entirely know which ones he might have in hand if he has exploration. Uh, uh, like it's possible, like he doesn't have either in play. If you see a stage on top. You put it on the bottom. Like, what if he has another stage in hand? What if he has depths in hand? You, you, it's it's not trivial, right, to decide what you're supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jacob's gonna use the brainstorm, which is probably just gonna cycle, frankly, because he's got another. He's got his Jace activation left still. Jacob needs a lot of stuff to go right here, right, to to really get there. Like, he needs a blocker. Or a time walk. Uh, and he still needs the oath to like get going. Yeah, it, even if Jacob gets the oath, yeah, like, it, it's a lot like, of time. Jump block and bounce it for a turn. He still doesn't have anything happening. He's still like he's digging up buttercup. He's still just dirtling around with no action. Mm -hmm. uh, so here's a dig through time. Look at seven. He's. I'm not sure he can really do anything on a time walk. I think it's got to be time walk and like any other card. Yeah, time walk and. A blocker. Yeah. It's kind I of mean, in, one. A, in an ideal world, it's time walk and oath. And you can like, play land, time walk, oath. But I don't know if he even has land drop left. So. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, uh, no, he must because he played uh, Archon last turn and has exactly six mana okay. now. Makes sense. Yeah, so, so he's got his land drop left. So like, yeah. he really needs to go time walk, oath, right? That's, so that would be particularly good. Because Archon yeah. of. The, the Blazon Archon. Yeah. That totally transforms this game. Yeah. Because then he's, he's three turns away from Jace Ultimate. Like, he's so close to winning the game. Yeah, well, uh. That's really what he's looking for. For that. So, yeah, we, we do know that he's got a Blazing Archon in the deck. If that comes in play, then that, uh, the 2020 Merit Lodge does nothing. It's not very good anymore. As long as Jaco remembers to pay a man on the upkeep. True. Then the the Jace will eventually win the game if Argon hits play, but a lot of things have to come together for that to happen. The Jaco brainstorms. Frank has got to be happy about that. Yeah. This means he doesn't have the answer yet. Exactly. He's got three, four mana plus any artifacts he can play. We had a plus a land drop plus our next.
The other thing of like Frank doesn't know Jaco's deck list altogether, so like if he goes for Merit Lage, he might be a little scared. But Frank is not a player who is who is scared of. Like oh, Frank is definitely just gonna go for it on the end step. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't you don't play lands to be scared. You play lands to just go for it and hope they don't have it. <laughs> They go cracking a fetch. Oh, that's like Texas. So I go to 13, 13. Yeah, so did uh, did you get a look at what the, what was on the dig? What did they do? It was tough to see. Got, no. Yeah. Tapping four mana? Is that another Jace? Yeah. Oh, you're seeing him play another Jace right now? If so, then my stream yeah. is my stream yeah, is sorry, way behind yours. Second Jace. All right, I'm gonna trade him. He has to draw into uh, Artifact Man one, and his time block in the top. Second Jace. Yep. Which is to say, unlikely. Hmm. It's okay. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> Sounds like you're like a minute ahead of me, so I'm gonna see if I can reload this stream real quick. Well, Uh, no spoilers, but I'm pretty sure Jacob's dead. <laughs> That's where I thought this game was going. Yeah. Yeah, like, so sure Jacob like passes that. one mana up. Uh, Frank makes a 20 20. Game. My stream yeah. is not super high quality, but I'm, I'm catching bits and pieces. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm back at the right time, but now we got a, a gray Jacob screen. Jacob is posturing like he might have something going on, but. <laughs> There's a handshake. Frank is into the top four. Of All the right. Breaker. So we got uh, a top four of outcome, outcome, yeah, bug so lands. I, I just, I just, um, the end of it, but I didn't. Cool. I think just <laughs> the, uh, the stream is yeah. kind of falling apart right now, uh, quality wise. Yeah, let's, see, let's see what you can do about this real quick. Yeah, hopefully we can uh, figure something out. Yeah. Uh, let me, let me get it. Produce it. Quote unquote, See, I mean, depending on your tap, uh, I was hoping to uh, trophy it. Yeah, and, all right. Uh, uh, crack it on the, uh, on all right. So they're packing up cards, and we have seen I I it. every deck on camera so far today, besides Bug. So hopefully, we'll see top four uh, Bug. Uh, but we don't know. So outcome, outcome, Bug, Land. 